The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. This is Africa Diaspora Connect. Join us as we take the journey from the motherland to America. We share our experiences and learn from them. Here is our host, Kevadi Gaturu. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to another Thursday evening, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, welcome to yet another amazing episode of the African Diaspora Connects. I'm your host, Kevadi Gaturu, and today, today, it's real estate investment in the motherland. Ooh. Yeah, before we get to that, Chrissy, um, the U.S. dollar goes pretty far in a lot of Africa and a lot of, con- and a lot of countries all over the, oh, yeah. all over the world. Yeah. The, the dollar is always reign supreme. It goes far in mine as well. And, you know, the theorem of coming to this year land of milk and honey with a little slant of vinegar is earning that dollar. Yeah. Powerful dollar. Oh, yeah. And one of the ways we put it to use is investments. And investments comes in a whole, whole lot of different vehicles. Mm-hmm. A prime one, and a lot of us immigrants, uh, new immigrants, has been real estate. Okay. And, uh, you know, this, the prices are skyrocketing. You know, the sooner you get into it, the better it is. Especially uh, at the moment. Yeah, but it, bar none, it's one of the best investments out there, uh, real estate. So today, there are a lot of myths. There are a lot of different angles when it comes to real estate. But today I have someone who's going to break it down, break it down to us, and awesome. let us know the safest pathway to do that. I don't. Do you guys uh, b- big on real estate in Australia? Oh yeah, I think it's big everywhere. You're it always going to need buildings for something, yeah, right? You're going to do that for <laughs> something. Yeah. So uh, okay. hey, listen, this is all you now. What do you think? All right. So I, I, I can't wait to hear what uh, Maureen has to tell us. Before we get to that, though, yeah, we want everyone to know about the ADC, right? This is what we're here for. We want to spread the word. Most deaf. So I think it's time we ask for a little bit of help from our our, our one thousand plus viewers. All right. So mm-hmm. what we are asking for everyone to do, we need your help to spread the word so please like and share our videos listen like and share yes. and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel african uh-huh. diaspora connects you can uh-huh. also find us on facebook as african diaspora connects also we are on instagram all links will be found in the description below whether you are watching us on youtube or facebook look in that description open it up Click the links, subscribe, share. Let's make the ADC as big as we can, people. ADC, ADC, you heard that right from my producer, the amazing Chrissy Cunningham, coming us direct from Plus 66 Australia. 61. Oh, oh, that's okay. All right, 6166. As as long as I didn't say 666, I think we're good. I guess. (laughs) Maureen. Coming to us from Mahiga. What time is it over there? It's late. I know you're like, oh my God, it's almost one in the morning. We appreciate you so much. We appreciate Karibu to the African Diaspora Connects. So today's show, I want to give you a little plug here. Today's show is brought to you by Mahiga Homes. Mahiga Homes Limited is a real estate company that has developing affordable residential homes in Nairobi and surrounding areas since January 2018. They specialize in off-plan sector where they sell homes at the pre-construction stage that allows the client to partner with them in the development of their home. They have been able to successfully hand out seven projects on Kenyatta Road, Kamulu, Joska, and Kitengela areas, and are set to hand over several more projects this year in Ruiro, Joska, and Kitengela. So, why should you choose Mahiga Homes? They are trustworthy, affordable, and flexible payment plans, customizable homes, secure and serene neighborhoods, gated estates, available of all social amenities. Check out their website at mahigahomes.co.ke. You can find a link in the description below. Once again, on YouTube, bang, it's, everything is going to be there. Mahiga Homes, and we have my favorite real estate agent of all time. Welcome. Finally, we're making it happen, Maureen. Karibu. 
Finally, finally, finally. Have you ever had an intro? Have you ever had an intro like that? Who has ever given you an intro like that? No, think about it. <laughs> Who on earth can do what the African <laughs> diaspora connect does? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. All right, all right. There we go. That's good. So let me ask you this. Um, one of the biggest myths, one of the biggest, everyone is trying to sell us something, we in the diaspora. Everybody has got a plan for us back in the yeah. motherland, okay? Everybody is trying to reach into our back pockets yeah. and telling us how to invest. What makes Mahiga different from everybody else? What makes you different and why should my followers in the African Diaspora Connect lean on towards Mahiga? Give me, tell me why. Uh, first things first is uh, transparency uh -huh. and uh, accountability and integrity. Uh -huh. I think with people from uh, the diaspora, that's uh -huh. the key thing they are, uh, they are looking for. Uh -huh. So with Mahiga Homes, you get all that. Okay, so you said... And the other thing is, um, yeah, the other thing is affordability uh -huh. and uh, flexibility. Mm -hmm. With affordability comes with the affordable cost okay. and uh, the flexible payment plans. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. So those are the two. So the two key things. Uh, affordable. So who's your target population? Do you have like a target population? Uh, what class? What? What? What are you? What? Who are you looking for? Who can afford uh, Mahiga? What? What? What demographics uh, can afford what you have to offer? Uh huh. So uh, we, our target market is uh, the the middle class. Uh huh. Someone who can be able. Someone who we we, we don't target someone who uh, has low income. Uh huh. Or rather than um or probably someone who has uh you know there are people who are very rich yeah. and uh, can really really want to take a expensive. So um mm -hmm. for us we have the. The middle class, mm -hmm. and that is why our houses they range from uh, three million to six million. So three million to yeah. six million. Now that 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 particular yeah. range. If I was, for example, if I was living in Zamunda, uh, define. I've been I've been detached from Kenya for a while. How much do I need to be earning? on an average basis, me and my significant other to afford a Mahiga. Define, what is middle class? How much do I need to be bringing home on a monthly basis to be one of your candidates if I lived back in the motherland? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, uh, the, the, I, I think uh, what I'm trying to get from you is uh, you're asking how much, how, uh, how, how much the yeah. monthly installment are. No, no, no. I'm asking, if I lived mm -hmm. in Kenya, for example, I want, I want to get an understanding of uh, if I lived in Kenya, and I was employed in Kenya, mm -hmm. and I had a significant other. Mm -hmm. How much do we need to be making on average, on a monthly basis, to afford what Mahiga has to offer? Just on a monthly basis, a dual income, uh, 300000 200000 a month. How much do you think we should be able to make as a dual income to be one of your candidates of choice? What do you think? About how much? I think 300 will do. So if I have a dual income of 300,000 Kenya shillings, uh, we'll be able to afford what mm -hmm. you have to offer. So 300,000, my, my guess, how much is that in US dollars? 3, about $3,000 about three on, a, on a monthly basis. Okay, okay. Middle class sounds, sounds, sounds real. So I like the fact that you talked about accountability, you talked about transparency, and everybody's going to tell us that. Tell us about your projects that you've done and, the ha and, and tell us your success stories. You know, let's talk about more than saying it. Give us examples of what Mahiga has done for us in the diaspora as a success. And, and what kind of stuff have you done already for us? Uh, just as you said, we have done seven projects. Uh -huh. That's uh, namely in, uh, in Kenyatta Road, we have four projects. Uh -huh. Namely, Cornerstone 1, uh -huh. Cornerstone uh, 3, Cornerstone 4, and Brickstone Garden. Uh -huh. All these projects are done and handed over uh -huh. with the ready title deeds, and uh, the clients actually live in the estates. Wow. So the other thing is, uh, we also have um, on Kangundo Road, we have, yeah, on Kangundo Road, we have done. Two projects, one okay. in Kamulu and the other one in Joska. Okay. Done and uh, handed over mm -hmm. with title deeds and the clients are living there. Mm -hmm. And also we have also done the most recent one, which is in Kitengela. Uh -huh. We did, uh, it was actually the last project that we got to hand over in 2020. Okay. 
and uh, it has uh, about 23 houses and uh, the clients as well are living in the houses. So here's your uh, new client. Uh, his name is Kevade Katuru, and he's like, you know what, uh, Maureen, I, I, I like what I hear. Uh, I'd like to be involved in one of the projects, maybe Joska. Where do we start? What's required of me here in the diaspora? How do I start the process? Uh, walk me through the play-by-play. -play. How do I get started after I identify I'm ready to invest uh, with Mahiga? Uh, by you being ready to invest, I believe uh, probably you sent someone or uh, you're comfortable with the projects and uh, with whatever it is that you are offering at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we just need to proceed to the... The, you to the make the, to the process of uh, now the journey. Okay. So we start with uh, you need to have a, to make a deposit. Okay. A deposit. Yeah. Uh, for instance, the project that we are selling right now, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's going for four point two five million. Okay. And uh, a deposit of one point seven is required. So if it is what you want, mm -hmm. we facilitate all the documents that are needed, mm -hmm. and then um, that uh, by that we get a few details from you. Mm -hmm. The details include your name, uh, the next of king. Mm -hmm. Then that information is what we are gonna use to send you what we call a letter of offer. The letter of offer comes oh. with the bank details and mm -hmm. uh, everything that will uh, facilitate the transfers. Okay. From there, uh, from there you have done the the um, the transfer of oh. the down payment, the whatever is required. Then from there you sign what we call a sales agreement. Mm -hmm. okay. The sale agreement is a document that uh, protects you as the buyer in case we default on our side mm -hmm. and also protects us mm -hmm. in case you default on your side okay so um from there now you start the journey we always start construction um once we are 90 percent sold of the whole estate so you have to wait remember? until 90 percent has been sold before you start construction yeah. Yeah, remember we are using uh -huh. your money, the, uh -huh. the the money that you uh, you're paying to uh -huh. do the construction. Okay. So once uh, once if let's say you come in as the first person, mm -hmm. you'll uh, you actually have to wait for a few let's say a few weeks because the longest project we've had to sell out took a month a month yeah, and uh, the others take three weeks two weeks to sell out. Wow. So and between that period, yeah, between that period is uh -huh. when now you like have a grace period before now we start the construction. The 15 month, uh, the 15 months construction, mm -hmm. you start counting them once we commence the construction. So okay. now that is when now you, you start doing also your installments mm -hmm. as you do the construction as well. So um, my mm -hmm. question once again on the documentation, all right? Uh, I mm -hmm. haven't set foot in Kenya since God knows when. I think maybe Jomo Kenyatta was the president. And what yeah. what what, dog, what what are you gonna take my are you gonna take my driver's license from Massachusetts as a as a document? Is is that gonna be proof enough? Um, actually, I have I have a, a detailed form right here with me. Uh -huh. And the only thing I, that I need from you is your ID or your passport. My ID, my my US ID. Uh, uh, not really. It's uh, the Kenyan ID. Yeah, see, was, if I'm, you don't I'm, have, mm -hmm, go ahead. Yeah. And because uh, if you don't have one, because most of the diaspora people are Kwanginazo, mm -hmm. you can you can give us your passports. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then, mm -hmm. then from the passport, we need your cell phone number, your email address, mm -hmm. your postal address, and uh, the the country that you're in. Uh -huh. And now the your date of birth and now and your gender from there we we need your next of king's name why do you need my relation. next why, why do you need my next of kin what if they try and kill me <laughs> no not really okay uh, the next of king is the the person just in case something happens to you uh -huh. the the one who's gonna be the next the so basically, if I default, you go after them. Is what you're trying to say. If I default, you go after my next of kin. No, no that's what no, you're saying. No, no. Okay. Mm -mm, uh, no. Okay. Actually, I'm after you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm next of kin. Yeah, I'm gone. I've disappeared. <laughs> Anyhow, how about my huduma number? Do you need my huduma number? 
No. <laughs> you no. sure? Okay. All right. <laughs> no. All right. It's a lot of documentation. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So for the next of king is just their name, their relation uh -huh. to, to you, and uh, their cell phone numbers and their ID. Just that. Okay. So, um, yeah. so rumor has it, we, we, the rumor has it, that market is so saturated. I mean, everyone is doing stuff. Everyone is building. You know, I have friends of mine who have apartment complexes or, or, or flats that are empty. How true is that? I mean, we hear all these horror stories like, you know what? It's too many people build too much and there are no tenants to rent or to buy. How true is that uh, theory? What do you, can you tell us? Uh, I don't think that is really true because... Uh Having a home is a necessity. It's yeah. actually a must. What will lazima waishi? You cannot, um, you can't live outside, so you have to have a home. Uh -huh. And I think for the apartments, it's um, it's a different market. Yeah, it's a different market. You think so? Okay, okay. Yeah. So does does yeah. my does Mahiga own these? Uh, all these uh, different, uh, uh, you know, Juja Road, whatever Kitengela, or everything you're talking about. Does how does this work? Do you guys own these, or are you guys uh, subcontracting, leasing from another company? Who own, who write, who owns these uh, uh, different sizable uh, uh, estates of real estate? Who owns them? Is it Mahiga or is it someone else? How does that work? Who owns the the, the is it the land or what? I'm not okay. So for, so for example, right? I want to invest in one of those one of those whatevers. Who owns? Who currently owns that land? Who owns that whole uh, uh, gated community? Who owns it? Oh, so um, who am I buying from? Normally, yeah, you you'd be buying from us. So Mahiga owns it. Yeah, Mahiga owns it. But you have to understand this that uh -huh. uh, there's a period there's a period of um, of the transfers of the titles, which uh -huh. normally takes a period of like uh, ninety days. That's three months. Uh -huh. Up to when now we get uh, our the the whole land on our name. Okay. Okay. So before we, we normally uh, go, we get land. Uh -huh. We are sourced for good land and then do all the due diligence that is required. Uh -huh. Then from there, we pay for it. And then now the process of transfer. But uh -huh. once we are, uh, by the time we are done with construction uh -huh. and uh, you also be done with the payment of the, the installments as well, uh -huh. we normally transfer the title to not the individual names. Okay, okay. So let's say it's it's, uh, it's John, then the title is going to read John. It's going to be transferred from Mahiga to uh -huh. John. Oh, John is actually sitting over here. John, you have, a, you have land over there? Okay. <laughs> John <laughs> is there. <now. laughs> <laughs> okay, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so uh, so once again, so you said uh, typically you, you pay it off in how many, 15 months? How many months do you say? Uh, what are the installments? How many months? 15 months. 15, 15 uh, so, months. So it's a year and three, yeah. and a, a year and three months. And basically, yeah. uh, and after that, I get my title. When exactly? After how long? After, after the 15 months. Okay. If you're done uh, paying the, the installments uh -huh. uh, before the 15 months uh -huh. and the mother title is ready, uh -huh. then you can pay for the, there's, an, there's a cost that you normally pay for the transfer of the title. So, then you can proceed with the, Transfer the title. Oh, so now you want more money. You know, I thought now you want more money. So like, <laughs> you're not paying. You're, huh? you're, it's not us who's getting the money. Oh, who's getting the money? Yeah. Who's getting the money? Ruto, yeah. Ruto who's getting the money? <laughs> Ali, uh, for Ministry of Land and all that for the transfers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So what if? What if uh, I'm the first guy once again, and for some reason it's been a month. Only fifty percent of people have come in. It's been two months. You know, what if that happens? I'm just going to sit there and wait for 90%. Is it, I'm just going to sit there. What if that happens? What if? Um, worst case scenario, what happens? Oh, we've, not, we've not had that happen, uh. but we've not actually had that happen. Because, uh -huh. let me tell you, yeah. once uh, we start a project, uh -huh. we normally have an overflow of people from the previous project who were locked out. Uh. So the first, uh, best houses like corner plots, uh, houses on the perimeter walls that you don't have a neighbor at the back, mm -hmm. they are normally taken at first. So if you're really a first client, you wouldn't be the very first one. You'll get other people from the from other projects. It's, 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 over, it's an overflow. Okay. Yeah, it's an overflow. normally people from the other projects who normally come to the 
And how, what's the size of these plots? How, how, what, what size are we looking at? Uh, averagely, what we have done in the past have been uh, 40 by 80, most of them, the uh -huh. Kenyatta Road ones and uh, the Kamulu ones. Uh -huh. But uh, we, uh, we, we found it wise to make the, the plots bigger because of most people would want to have a, a DSQ at the back. So uh -huh. we started doing 50 by 100 and 50 by 80. So now, in my language, what is that? An eighth of an acre? I don't know. What's what's forty? Yeah. What, what's that? That's it's an, an eight. eight. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's... Uh, Fifty by hundred is an eighth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And wow, this is fascinating to hear. And how long have you been doing this again yourself? How long have you been doing it? Uh since twenty eighteen. Okay. All right. Yeah. And and let me ask you this: What market? Which is your number one market? I'm sure there are a lot of folks in diaspora. Are, are they, are the people in Russia or, or Turkey? Who who has you? Who's your number one uh, diaspora? Who, who's who's number one? Uh, Egyptians. I have most of my clients are from the U.S. and the U.K. Really? Yeah. Those are the two main areas. No one. No one. Mostly, no. but um, I also. Uh, how about Australia? How, how, how about how about how about Australia? I mean, uh, my my friend here is feeling kind of slated. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyone in Australia? I also, can I, I have a Mahiga home? home? From, what, what's from that? Australia. <laughs> what's that? I also have clients from Australia as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. So generally, people from the diaspora, they yeah, they 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 will really want to invest. Uh -huh. They really invest. So I'm going to have you give us your pitch, your last pitch. Why should we invest in Mahiga? I'm going to give us your elevators. I'm going to put you on a spot. Why should we invest? Just I want to hear it from you and tell my audience why Mahiga. Why should we trust Miss Maureen Jogu? Why? No, you have a good smile. Other than the other fact, you have a good smile. Why should we trust you? <laughs> <laughs> One thing is uh, I told you about the transparency. Uh-huh. Whatever you see on the social media yeah. or uh, when you're doing the marketing, uh -huh. when you come on the ground is what you'll get. Okay. I've actually also had uh, people from from uh, from this uh, from your podcast who have come. Oh, from my podcast. Can, 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 I, yeah, can, can, I, can, I, can I get a commission? Can I, can I get a commission? <laughs> yeah, strong <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and uh um i always tell people that you can always send someone if you're there and uh you're not coming anytime soon home yeah. you can send someone whom you trust uh -huh. and uh they can come i'll take them to all the sites that you want uh -huh. them to view then they'll okay. give you feedback so that's someone you trust someone you know they can't lie to you then the other thing is uh, -huh. uh when you're traveling as well Mm. Just, just tell me, and uh, I'll also be able to take you. That's one thing. Can you pick us up from then the airport? Can you can you pick us up from the airport? Yeah, if we make arrangements. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Uber. Yeah. That's that's like v, v, VIP. Yes, we're VIP. Myself. Yes, yes. Have, like, bought. <laughs> After... <laughs> All right, no problem. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. <laughs> So um, the other thing is uh, you're free to walk into our site uh -huh. anytime. Okay. That's after, you, after you've bought. Okay. You can uh, walk into the site anytime, the office, to do uh, to monitor the progress of your house. You mm. can also as well send people that you know. Okay. If you don't have someone to send, uh, you can also ask me. I can always do video calls for you, for you to see whatever it is you're doing on the ground. All right. This, this is the other thing is... You're assured of your title. That's one thing that uh, I think is very critical to the diaspora people. Oh, yes. But, yeah, but I can Big assure time. you that uh, I can assure you that your title is going to be ready by the time we are done with the construction and it's going to be on your name. Once we are done with construction, we normally have a handover ceremony. Mm -hmm. And that is when all the clients are given their titles. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, you heard it right here. Okay, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I'm cutting you short. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The other thing is uh, flexibility on uh, the payment plan. Mm -hmm. And also, the, um, you're assured that the price that you started with, if I told you it was uh, 4.25 million, mm -hmm. that is the only amount you're going to pay. Nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. So um, there is that transparency. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing is the flexibility. <clears throat> All 
Okay. We don't. Uh, we understand that there are months when the money is short. Yeah, COVID, COVID. Yeah, COVID. Nini, yeah. I don't have enough hours. I can't work. Yeah. You know what? I, yeah, yeah. What happens? Can you cut yeah. me? Can you cut me some? Yeah, cut me some slack. Yeah. I can only yeah. come, I can only come so up with... we yeah we understand such uh, scenarios uh-huh. as long as there is constant communication okay there should be communication always just tell me more in this this and this is happening and, yeah, Kim, I need, I need time. okay eh yeah, kimaumana <laughs> wewe ina umana kabisa <laughs> So yeah, at a sisi kwa to work no mana. Okay. At times uh, it rains so heavy that you can't even take material. Really? Yeah? Okay. So yeah, so there there is there's a certain period that peer CC on our our end we mm. tend to get some difficulties, okay. but we make sure to communicate. Always communicate. Yeah. The other thing is that uh, you'll always get uh updates, be it receipts. For your payments, be it uh, the bank, uh, uh, the statements, okay. the statements show uh, whatever amount you have paid and the balance that we require from you. Understood. Okay. Yeah. So I think right. that's pretty much. This is good. Now, who's 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 the, who's the yeah. big boss? I want to talk to who's. The, I want to say something. Who's the, what's the name of the big boss? Who's the guy who who writes the checks? What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Mr. Patrick Mushoki. Mr. Mushoki, skiza hapa. Mr. Mushoki, Africa Diaspora Connect. Let me tell you something, Mr. Mushoki. Sikiliza, you're my brother. What the Africa Diaspora Connect can do for Mahiga Homes is out of this world. You want to do voiceovers, we want to advertise. There's no other stop in shop. This is where it's at. A one-stop shop. The Africa Diaspora Connect. So, Mr. Mushoki, I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I'm going to take Mahiga to another level. Granite level. So, keep that in mind, folks. ADC... We are endorsing Mahiga Homes. We are doing here at the ADC. And Maureen, you've been an amazing guest. Uh, we really enjoyed having you on the show. I know it's late there. Have a good night. Uh, be well. And uh, tell Banamoshoki, we want business. Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. And don't forget, everyone, today we want your help. Yes. Like, subscribe. Share, please. Yes. Facebook, yes. YouTube. Let's get the ADC out there. Let's keep this thing growing and rolling. And say Mahiga, say Mahiga Homes. Say Mahiga Homes. Mahiga Homes. Mahiga, Mahiga. Mahiga. That's Mahiga's a Mahiga. rock. Mahiga. All right. Homes. <laughs> All right, round of applause. It. Let's hear it, guys. All right, there we go. All right, thank you. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.